This is The Gig, I'm Johnny O, and today we're gonna do some wicking and coiling. So to finish off my vape series, I do wanna do coiling. I'm gonna do coiling on these two mods, Aroma Miser uh, Plus, right here, Aroma Miser Plus. It's a five, 10, and 18 milliliter tank, and the Aroma Miser Titan which is an 18 milliliter and a 28 milliliter tank. So the focus will be on our tanks. Now, there's lots of videos out there on, on wicking and this sort of thing. This is a little bit different and I'm gonna show you why these, these two tanks are running so well. Right now, I can tell you these tanks are running perfect. Um, the, this one I think has been running for over a week with the same wick in it. I vape it every day. So they're constantly being vaped. Um, on the show last week, I vaped this one. I've filled it up several times since then. I do vape this single battery mod and this tank every day. So the wicks that I showed you on the last show are still going strong inside this. We're not taking this one apart because we did that. We are gonna take these two apart. We're going to take the Aroma Miser Titan and the Aroma Miser Plus apart. And when we do that, I'll be able to show you why they're running so well and how the wicks are in there. A lot of people, they wick it, then they fill it, and then they show you on the, on the show that they're vaping it. That's really good, but I know a lot of people that are new to, to vaping and, and setting up these RDTAs have a lot of problems. That's why I'm making these videos. Um, like me, I had a lot of problems. I had to go to videos, really good videos. Some were good, some were bad. I actually had this string together about 10 videos that I watched just to get enough information on to know what I was doing for some certain operations like wicking and coiling. So today we're gonna coil and we're gonna wick. The first thing we're gonna do is we're going to disassemble both of these mods to see why they're running so well and how I wick them. Then after, I know the coils are still good. <laughs> We're gonna make new coils for both of them. I have the coil set here. We're gonna make new coils and we're gonna wick them and set them up from, from disassembly to start how they're set up now. They're set up perfectly. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them apart the way they are now and show you why they're running so well. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we're going to disassemble some tanks that are running really well to show you why they're running so well. So the first one is an Aroma Miser Titan, or excuse me, Aroma Miser Plus. We're going to do the Aroma Miser Titan in a minute. But here it is. Now, what I love about both of these tanks, the Aroma Miser Titan and the Aroma Miser uh, Plus, is when you turn them upside down, they're basically sealed. Um, they're sealed, but you can still work on the deck while the tank is full. While the tank is full of juice, you can still work on the deck. You turn it upside down, you remove the base, and you can pull the, you can, you can pull the deck right out. So it's upside down. We're going to remove our base. Our base is here, and that's where, that's where the, the juice flow control is. So it's the base of the unit. Like I said, this is running excellent, so we're gonna just pull the deck out. There it is. There's the deck, okay? There's two coils uh, running at uh, point one, point, uh, 0.18 ohms. And then you can see the cotton coming into the bottom of the deck here. It's, it's basically sticking through. Here, I'll point right here, right here on either side of this, this threaded post are the juice well ports. There's two of them, it flows up into here, it hits the cotton on the side of the coils, gets absorbed and brought in through the coils. This is where it happens. If you get a leak, if you get a leak, or, what it, or something like that, or it, it, it's too tight, it's right here, that's where it's happening, on these two ports. There's one on either side. 
So we're just going to pull. We're going to pull the cotton out, and we're going to we're going to pull the uh, we're going to pull the coils out, and we're going to recoil it and re-wick it. Okay, so here's our perfect cotton. It's running really well. I shouldn't be doing this. I should just leave it running, but for the sake of the show, we're going to pull it apart. Now you can see that cotton is a little bit dark. That's because the juice I was using uh, has a lot of sweetener. It's custard. Also, I was running this tank on a Cylon uh, two-battery mod where the mod, the, the LCD screen stopped working in the mod, so I think I might have maybe even burnt this cotton a little bit. You can see as far as the wicking, it's running perfectly. But that Cylon did do a number on our, our cotton. I'm not happy about that. I could keep using this cotton. And you can see for some reason, one of my coils is also bent. So after I take the cotton out, I'm gonna clean the coils. Even though we're not gonna reuse these coils, I am gonna clean them just because it cleans the entire deck when we do that. So we, we put it in our ohm meter and we can burn off all that juice. When we do this, it also cleans the whole deck. That's what I like about it. So I'm just gonna pulse this. Got our coils. I want the coils to go red a few times Okay, so that looks pretty good. I made the coils nice and hot, red hot. Unfortunately, the Geek Vape ohm meter failed me again. It failed last week as well. What it's saying is that it, the error it's giving is that there's a short in the deck. There actually is not a short in the deck. Um, I don't know why it says that. But if I put it on any other mod and I, I fire it, it works fine. But if I put it on, on the Geek Vape ohm meter, it says there's a short in the deck. There definitely, most definitely is not a short in the deck. I've just cleaned these coils. Okay, so I have burned the coils. They're pretty clean. And you can see that there's char all over them. Some guys will, when they're red hot, they'll dip them in, they'll turn off the power and they'll dip them in water. And the char that you see in the coils will, will come out. Um, Unfortunately, my Geek Vape ohm meter failed me. I was hoping to build up on here on this 510, and I have done it before, but it failed me yet again. Uh, I think this is a piece of shit, and I'm a little pissed off about it, actually. Last week on the show, it did the same thing. It started failing. I don't know why. I brought it home. I changed the battery. It starts working. Um, it, it was doing the same thing last week. It was registering a short in, in this deck. Um, there's no short in this deck. I can put it on any one of my mods and it will, it will drive, the, drive the coils to red if I pulse it. For some reason, I was able to do this a few days ago when I built these coils with this. Today, um, this piece of shit failed me again, probably for the last time. You'll never see this garbage on my show again. I'm really, really not happy about this. Okay, so instead of building on our ohm meter, we will build on our Cylon. Our Cylon, it's our other piece of shit on this show where the screen went, but it does have a 510 connector and it gives me a lot of space to move around so I can build on it. Um, so we're just gonna remove our coils now. Pretty easy. This is what they call a postless deck. So. There's some set screws on the side here. We just have four set screws, two screws per coil, and then the coils drop right out. But what we're doing is we're gonna do our Titan, our Aromamizer Titan, and our Aromamizer Plus at the same time. So I'm gonna do this deck, 
take these coils out, show it to you, and then we're going to do the same thing to our Titan. Okay, so I've removed the coils. Now I'm just going to wipe the deck off. Now you can see the deck when it's naked. So you can see here how, these th how the, all these decks work is there's a positive side and a negative side. So your coil's got to go from here to here. When you see that split through the middle, that's an insulator. It insulates positive from negative. Uh, this would be the, the same if it was a velocity deck. It would have two posts going across. And one side of the post would be positive, and another side of the post would be negative. They would just put two posts across here. And so let's take a look at our Titan deck. Okay, so here's our Aromamizer Titan. This is the biggest uh, RDTA tank you can get. The, the one closest to this would be called a Mason. Uh, the diameter on the bottom is 42 mill millimeters. The Mason, I believe, is 40 millimeter, millimeters. And this is a 28, it fits up to a 28 milliliter glass. Right now I have 18 milliliter glass on it. It does have two, a spare uh, glass that comes with it, and it's for 28 mil. And right in the bottom here, it fits four mil. So if you have the 28 mil glass on it, it will take 32 milliliters to fill it. Right now, to fill this, it will take 22 milliliters. Um, it's running perfectly. I, I, I took off the posts the other day, and I'm running it like just with, as, as a postless deck, okay? So it, it's just postless, just, just like the uh, Aromamizer Plus. So we're going to disassemble this guy and take a look at the deck. Okay, so to take it apart, it's exactly, this is just the big brother of the Aromamizer Plus. It, it's the exact same design, just bigger. So we're going to remove, we're going to remove our base, okay, and again, the base has the juice flow. So here's the juice flow for the Plus and the juice flow for the Titan. You can see the size difference. It works exactly the same, it's just bigger. So here's our deck, you can see it sitting in there. I'm just going to wipe it off a bit and I'm going to show you why this is running so well. Exactly like the Titan design, you can see the juice wells are on both sides of this thread coming through the middle, this threaded post. This is the contacts, the electrical contacts, they come through the middle. And then on the other side is we have our juice well. See, I'll pull the cotton through just so you can see it. Yeah. So if I pull on it, the cotton will come through. So that's where the cotton comes through. And we're going to rip this apart or disassemble it. And we're going to show you, we're going to see why these, both of these tanks were running so well. And then we're going to reassemble them the same way. So here we go. To pull this deck, it's a lot tighter than the Plus. Uh, I usually need another mod to pull the deck out because it is pretty tight in there. With the Plus, it's pretty small. I can just, you saw me, I, I could just pull it out with my fingers. This one, it's pretty tight and has a pretty big O-ring. So what I do is I take a mod, just like this, and I screw it on, and I just pop it out. Just like that. And there are, oh, again, just like the Titan, all I have to do is turn it upside down and it won't leak. So I'm going to put these both over here. Let's take a look at our running coils. So here's our coils. There's three of them. It's a postless deck, exactly like the Aromamizer. It's exactly like, they're, it's just bigger. Um, now you can see the cotton here. There's a little bit of uh, discoloration but that's from the sweetener and the flavoring in the juice that I run. Okay, It's a little bit darker over here for whatever reason. I don't know what happens. But this cotton, I can tell you, would probably I've had it in there for uh, two or three days. It'll probably run for at least another week for sure. Um, it depends on your juice sometimes because if the juice is sweeter or has more flavoring, there'll be more residue left in your cotton 
over the days and days that you use it. So uh, it, it might just get full or, or just faster than any other kind of cotton or any other juice that you use. But I know that the juice that I, I use, it does fill up cotton pretty quick. So after about a week, maybe a week and a half, the cotton will be full of this, this residue. This is what's left behind after you vape it. So we're going to pull the cotton now and we're going to take a pretty good look at it and we're going to see why it's wicking so well. So I'm just going to pull it out here now. By the way, if this is leaking, uh, if it's leaking on this big deck, all you have to do is you got to, you, you turn your mod upside down, you pull your deck. See, that mod is still full of juice. The plus is the same. It's still full of juice. I won't lose any juice by pulling out the deck. I can still work on the deck and work on the coils without having to empty it. A lot of the tanks, you can't do that. You have to empty them, empty them before you can work on them. So it was leaking the other day, and I just I pulled the deck, and I saw that this cotton, for some reason, came out of here. All I did is I, 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 I placed it back into its position, like that, instantly stopped leaking. Okay. Very easy to work on, very easy to stop a leak. Okay, very easy. So let's take a look at the cotton as I pull it out. You can see it's wicking perfectly, how, how saturated the cotton is. So it's wicking perfectly. The other side is the same, it's wicking perfectly. You can see this cotton on, on both sides are about the same size too. That's important. The cotton wicks from coil to coil have to be the same size and the coils have to be the same size. You get a nice even, even vape from that. So I'm just going to pull these out now. These are a little big. So what I do usually is I grab scissors and I actually chop, because they're so big, and I, I cut off one side just like this. It's okay. Now they'll, they'll just come out. Now I can just pull them out of this side, just like that. See? Pull it out. Put it over there with the other bunk cotton. And we can take a look at it. It's a little black in the center. That's normal. From my experience, it's normal. Guys that say, oh, it shouldn't be black. That's crazy. That's a very high concentration of the flavoring left behind when you're vaporing, vaping. There will be some, some really dark spots in, in all cotton. It doesn't matter. I've never seen it not happen. Okay, so here's our coils. You can see it looks exactly like the Aroma Miser Plus, but instead of having two coils, it has three. That's the biggest difference. In fact, the deck is identical to the Plus. Here's the Plus. But you can see the major size difference. I'm going to get the coils off this, and we're going to compare the sizes. But first, I want to burn off. I want to burn off all this garbage in the coils, all their, their residue. So I'm going to pull this deck and burn it off in my other mod because my piece of shit Geek Vape ohm meter doesn't work. No, you know what we're going to do? We're going to try that ohm meter right now. See if it works. So it's registering a short in the other deck. Let's see if it reg registers a short in this deck. Here it is. Who knows? It might work for this deck. Maybe it just doesn't like that other deck. So I'm going to turn it on. It turns on just like a... Okay, so here's your Geek Vape. Consider this a review. Here's your Geek Vape deck. I'm trying to burn these coils to clean them. This is how well it works. Awesome! It's awesome. What a great product. Okay, so all of a sudden, for some reason, our ohm meter started working. It registered on the display and told me to start firing. So I did. So it's definitely cleaning those coils. All of a sudden, out of an act of God, my Geek Vape ohm meter started working. And you can see those, those are still good coils. You can see they, they, 
they fire up simultaneously. One of them on the end is a little bit colder than another one, but I think I moved it when I took out the cotton. So these, these coils in the, this deck are now pretty clean, and I was able to do it on this Geek Vape ohm meter, which I was never able to do before, before this very moment. Okay, our Geek Vape ohm meter actually worked on camera for the first time ever. I'm still not impressed with this device, always not working whenever I need it to. This is the first time it worked. Uh, there was no short in this deck. I highly, de at first it was saying there was a short. There is no short in this deck. There's no short in that other deck either. But for some reason, this, this ohm meter, when I'm on camera, says there's a short. When I'm at home, like for example, on that other deck, uh, it did burn in the coils on the other deck, no problem. And I haven't changed the configuration or anything, and then all of a sudden it says that there's a short. There's actually no short. Okay, so this is the coils, what they look like after they've been cleaned. Okay, you can see all kinds of residue on there. Some guys, what they like to do is when they're red hot, they just take the coils and in a cup of water or a container of water, when they're red hot, they dip the coils in and then you can see all this, this residue really come out of there. Um, that's fine. We're not reusing these coils because I'm going to show you how to, how to spin the coils up. So we're going to make all new coils. First we're going to remove them from the deck now that the deck is clean. I'm going to remove them from the deck the same way I removed the other ones. There's two screws or two, two set screws for each coil and once they're loose the coils simply just drop out. Very easy. There's one. There's the center, center coil. Hit both screws on each side, drops out. And the last coil on the end. And our last coil just simply drops out. Very good. Uh, those coils are pretty dirty and I've only had them in there about three days along with that cotton. But for three days, you can see how dirty they are. That's because of the juice I actually use. It has lots of sweetener in there, lots of flavoring. So all that's left behind in the coils. You can see the deck is pretty much, engineering wise, it's identical to the other deck. We just took the coils out of, but it's, it's bigger. So here's the other deck and you can see the, the difference. These are the exact same decks, postless. They're both configured as postless right now. Although, okay, so this is the, you can see that this takes two coils, like we saw, this takes three, identical. You can see here that there's a positive side, basically a positive deck and a, a, a negative deck. Uh, and you put one side of the coil on positive, the other side on negative, same thing. I can also configure this deck. This is very unique. It's called a Lego deck. I can put spacers in here. The spacer will, will allow it to go into series. I can, so I can put series coils on this. So as it is right now, if you put a coil in here, it's on its own circuit, right? They call it uh, parallel, right? So if I put three coils, that's basically three circuits. It's on the same power system, but they, they run in parallel. When you run it in serial, It'll, it'll basically put those three coils together and they run in series. Um, I had this running in series for about two weeks and it ran really well. I really liked it. Um, the, my, my favorite way to run this deck is with three postless coils in the bottom. The problem with that is getting the three coils to fire simultaneously can be a pain in the butt. Getting two coils to fire simultaneously is a lot easier than three. For some reason, the middle coil on this deck always gets just a little bit hotter than the two end coils. Um, I don't know why. But we're gonna build it postless again today. First, we're gonna make, we're gonna make the coils right here on camera. Then we're gonna put the coils in both of these decks. So here's your Roma Miser Plus, and here's your Titan, exact same decks. Although this, this, 
Titan is much bigger. It can also be configured in series. It can also be configured as velo a velocity deck by putting two posts. It comes with the post. It also comes with the series separator, the insulator, to make it into a series. I'm Johnny O. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave your questions and comments below.